Good morning. From Goa. We have been staying at a resort called Simrose, which is in Agonda, which is in the south of the region. We've been staying here for the past few days, and we figured that it was time to give you a bit of a tour, as well as to let you know how things are going. We have been staying in a building across from reception, and our room's on the first floor. We're number eight, which is called Cactus, so come on in. So, when you walk in, the first thing that you can see is this wardrobe. It's a cabinet and we've been using it to hang our towels on but there's also hangers and drawers for if you want to unpack so that's pretty useful. Then when you come around here you have a desk and they provided us with a kettle. We had two bottles of water, some glasses, cups, some tea and coffee if you want to use it, as well as a chair, which we use to store all of our stuff. Next up, you have the most comfortable bed in the whole wide world. It is so cushy. It is so huge. The comforter is lovely. The pillows are great. I think Nick and I have got some of our best sleep scores while in this bed and it has mosquito netting on it which is nice but there aren't actually that many mosquitoes here so it's kind of unnecessary but i guess a really good feature to have so if you come over here there is also this side table which i guess we could have pulled up closer to the bed to use but it's actually been the perfect spot to put our yoga mats which the front desk let us borrow. Now, the one gripe about staying here is that on their website, it advertises that they have a yoga studio and yoga classes. We happen to be here in the low season, so it's understandable why they wouldn't be offering yoga classes. However, the thing we didn't expect is that they're using their yoga studio for laundry and drying. So we don't have access to it we didn't know that before we came here. They've kindly lent us his yoga mat, so we've been doing mad fit workouts. But as you can see, I mean, it's kind of tight and it's not that well ventilated or lit, so it's not ideal, but we're making do. Then if you come around the corner, we have the bathroom, which is a wet room. We have a sink and a mirror. They have provided hand soap, shower gel, shampoo. We have a shower which has maybe a minute of hot water and then it goes to lukewarm and the pressure is very uneven. It is, I think depending on where the lime scale buildup is, you get basically less pressure in some areas. We have a modern toilet. The one thing that I will say about this wet room is that's nice is that it has this lip of tile, which means that the whole bathroom doesn't always get wet, which is a nice feature. And then of course you have to turn the hot water on with this switch over here. But again, it gives you like maybe a minute of hot water. However, as you can see, there is a slight problem with ceiling heights. So if you're anything over six foot, then this might be a bit troublesome for you. And then lastly, we have a little balcony out here and we have a table and chairs outside. They actually offer, as you can see, this is the yoga they were advertising. I think the only thing that they actually have at the moment is if you make an appointment or arrange it, they have a bunch of like massages and facials and Compared to North American standards, it's definitely cheaper, but it's still out of our backpacking budget. So let's take you around the resort now. We're now leaving our room and heading down. Actually, this is a really good view of the reception and their yoga studio, which we can't use. Here is the reception and office on the ground level. And if you walk along this path, you can see a bunch of different 
cabins that are available for more money than what we paid. This one in here seems to have its own little covered patio in there. And we keep walking. More independent little cabins line this path here. And finally, we come to the pool area. When we had a look at this listing on booking.com, then we did take a look through all of the photos of the resort, which did include a number of different photos of this swimming pool. Now, with some potentially creative marketing and photo editing techniques, then it definitely made it seem a lot larger than it is, and potentially so does this camera. So definitely want to take a moment to say, this isn't big. It's maybe a little bit larger than a hot tub. So we haven't really been able to get much use out of it, unfortunately. Clearly something that's aimed a little bit more at families because realistically only kids can really swim around this. And as you can see, the lounges aren't covered in anything. So it doesn't seem to be the most comfortable environment for most people. Just behind the swimming pool area is the restaurant. So let's go have a closer look at that. restaurant and as you can see the view is absolutely lovely we are each side the food has been amazing we've eaten breakfast lunch and dinner here a few times the wait staff is so attentive and it's been absolutely wonderful however we are here in low season which means that a lot of the restaurants and shops in this city are actually closed at the moment, which means the only options that you have for meals are those that are attached to a hotel. And of course, when you lack that variety and choice, it means that you are stuck paying the prices that are set. And it's just normal in any place that the hotel restaurants have more expensive prices. In that said though, we can't say anything better than actually the quality even though we are paying them more for it, it has been absolutely superb. We have not had any disappointing here yet. So as far as that goes, then especially given that this is a resort town, then it's kind of to be expected. And at least we're getting some value for money out of it. Yeah, and I will say that we did do a little bit of price comparison on the internet and we found another hotel that had slightly cheaper food for breakfast and lunch. So we tried that yesterday and it was great. They didn't have quite the view that this place does have. Like this is a really amazing setting. And then this morning, actually, one of the random restaurants was open. And so we gave that a go for breakfast. It was even cheaper than the other place. So by far the cheapest we've found. And I think we might go there for lunch and dinner again because of all of their food was significantly cheaper and it was tasty and the people there were great but when you do look restaurants and cafes up online a lot of them do still say temporarily closed i've never experienced this for example in canada if you go to a ski resort during the summer you can still go hiking yes of course there won't be skiing but the restaurants will all be open there will still be fitness classes available the swimming pool will still be open the spa so you can still have use of facilities but you just wouldn't be skiing whereas here it seems like really the town closes down, down. so it's a bit of a weird experience and certainly i think it was a bit of a shock to us when we first arrived but if anything it's really enforced the level of relaxation that we've gone to so it's not necessarily the worst thing i think it just took us a bit by surprise and this is a gonda beach it is absolutely beautiful. You can see the waves clearly rolling in here. However, due to such conditions, then it's not safe for swimming right now. So we haven't really been able to take full advantage of this right now. However, one of the absolute collector's items that is very unique to this part of the world 
is the fact that you can see some cows on the beach. Who knew? All in all, our time here has been very relaxing. The fact that we haven't been able to use the pool or their yoga studio, go on the beach to even really tan, has made us slow down. It has. We came into this with perhaps unrealistic expectations of what we could do while we were here. And so we kind of flew in the face of the fact that this was our season because we imagined it to be what North America and Europe would define as off season, which isn't necessarily shutting everything down. It's just repurposing some facilities. Yeah, I thought the restaurants would all be open so we'd have our full choice of food. And I thought the yoga studio would be open. And we also imagined that the pool would be bigger. Yeah, I think because of that, it's discouraged us from really going out into the area as well, which is a bit of a shame because honestly, it does look really, really interesting. There does seem to be a lot in the area when it comes to wildlife sanctuaries. You can go for dolphin watching tours and all sorts of different excursions, which reception freely advertises on top of all of the yoga and wellness options that they also provide. So I would imagine that when this is in season, this is an absolutely idyllic place to be. It's just unfortunately we come at the wrong time. Nevertheless, it has been very nice to slow down from moving between cities and even just getting out of the busy Indian cities and getting away from the overcrowding mm -hmm. and the noise. It's been a really nice break. Definitely. So just what we needed to slow down. Yeah. But we'll be moving on soon and we can't wait to take you along with us. Exactly. Hitting a big reset button before heading on to our next country is still just a tonic, even if it wasn't quite how we imagined it at first. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling.